While Adam Sandler might play an average Joe in most of his movies, in real life this funny man lives a total life of luxury. Sometimes coming across as too casual or very down to earth, we can forget that Adam is uber wealthy and successful, but the man has amassed a net worth estimated at $480 million. He's long called a nearly 13,000 square foot Pacific Palisades estate his main residence, while he and his family also have homes in places like Malibu as well as over in Florida. Also, Michael and I I just dropped our very own house tour of our new home we moved into this year. So go ahead and subscribe to our family channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. Oh, and once you watch it, let me know what you think of our home. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Adam Sandler is a comedian, actor, and filmmaker who starred on Saturday Night Live in the 90s before going on to star in a long list of Hollywood films. These movies combined have earned over $4 billion at the box office. Adam also has a $350 million deal currently with streaming platform Netflix. And his latest release, Hustle, a sports drama in which he plays a basketball scout, has broken some records. Hustle has given him some of the best reviews of his career to date, and over on Rotten Tomatoes, it's currently ranked as the most liked by his fans and the highest rated of his career when judged by the audience score, now sits at 92%. Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see how Sandler's future Netflix content measures up. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive host tour here on Venus Entertainment. In this one, checking out where Adam Sandler and his family call home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. We'll kick things off with the main Sandler residence, Adam's mansion in Pacific Palisades, Los Angeles, where he lives with his family. Located in an upscale residential neighborhood here between the Santa Monica Mountains and the Pacific Oceans, nearby there are miles of coastline, hiking trails, and more. Some of his famous neighbors include the likes of Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson, Steven Spielberg, and more. Adam's estate also has some of its own celebrity history. Reportedly in 2004, Adam and his wife, Jacqueline Sandler, were at Goldie Hunt and Kurt Russell's house for a New Year's Eve celebration when his wife said she would like to buy that house. Sources claim the couple actually did buy the massive mansion from Goldie and Kurt the same year for $12 million to be exact. The home was never on the open market and Adam keeps his properties quite private so we've yet to see interiors, but we do know the details. The mansion clocks in at 12,860 square feet of space along with 7 bedrooms, 14 baths, and other high highlights like a sprawling yard packed with amenities. The Sandler Mansion was built back in 1990 but had underwent major renovations and upgrades since then. Situated on two thirds of an acre of land, outside there's a lot to look at and aerial photos show how expansive the property really is. The features continue out on the grounds where aside from the massive yard, there's a refreshing swimming pool with spa and terrace space for al fresco entertaining. Being the basketball fan that Adam is, he also has a sports area on his property fitted with the courts, fitness equipment, and much more. If all of that's not enough, the actor also owns the home next door, which spans 3,971 square feet of space with four bedrooms and four bathrooms. Basically the size of a large family home all on his own, and it's likely just serving as a guest house. It appears that the Sandlers do need sufficient guest quarters though, because they love inviting their friends and family to stay over. During an interview with Jimmy Kimmel, Adam revealed that he had his entire extended family staying with him for one of his movie premieres. When asked how many family members were staying over, Adam said, Let's put it this way, I've got a big house and there's so many people in the house that my mother and my mother-in-law are sleeping in the same bed. It's that crowded. Well, that is one big family. Reportedly, Adam's Pacific Palisades compound would be worth an estimated $28 million or more these days. If Adam's Pacific Palisades mansion gets too hectic with family members staying over, he and his family can always head on over to one of their vacation spots, including their lovely Malibu beachfront property. While it's not drastically far from his main residence, it is directly on the water with gorgeous sandy shores to take advantage of. He's often spotted spending time with his family in Malibu and 
clearly enjoys some downtime here. Adam reportedly purchased this abode in 2001 for just under $4 million, but these days the estimated value has essentially doubled, sitting at over $6 million or nearly $7 million if he ever were to sell. Built in 1947, the house has been remodeled and now offers 4,000 square feet of space, along with a super modern vibe, which is obvious from the exterior views. The single family house boasts three bedrooms, three bathrooms, and plenty of ocean views through the many full walls of glass inside. Other features at Adam's vacation home include the large entertainment patio at beach level, which is perfect for having guests over and summer parties. There's also a skylight that runs the length of the home inside, allowing all the sunlight to reach you even indoors. His house is situated literally on the beach like I mentioned, and on a highly sought after street with picture perfect views. I wish I had more to show for Adam's homes, but the man is notoriously private with his properties. We do know about another place that he purchased for his mom apparently, but he's often spotted visiting and staying here as well. This one is in Florida. Located in the Highland Beach area of Boca Raton, Florida, a town in Palm Beach County. It seems like a much quieter area of the state, unlike Miami for instance, so his mom probably gets some good peace and quiet here. The condo home Adam bought is 2000 1,600 square feet of living space with three beds and three baths, originally built back in 1981 and renovated since. We know from records that the condo is located in the building Parker Highland, which is a boutique residential building offering only 26 units. The building offers steps directly to the sandy shores of Highland Beach, and if that's not your thing, the residents here can also enjoy a stunning pool and spa setup. In terms of location, it's only minutes away from Boca Raton's downtown district to the south, or the north, you'll find downtown Delray Beach for endless entertainment options. Current estimates of the High Rise place its value at over $1.25 million, which is a lot more than Adam paid some years ago. Back then, around 1999, it only cost him about 650K. All right, everyone, that is gonna wrap up our Adam Sandler house tour. While he's super private about the interiors of his properties, it doesn't take much to conclude that the homes he owns are luxurious as you'd expect from a celebrity like him. Not to mention, Adam has come a long way from his humble beginnings growing up in New Hampshire, but still pays a visit his childhood home from time to time, and he doesn't forget his roots. It seems like according to the last time Adam paid a visit to his childhood home, not much had actually changed at all. A few years ago when he was there, it was reportedly the same kitchen, the same bedroom that Sandler shared with his brother, and still had a lot of his old stuff in place, like his albums and his t-shirts, because his parents still live there. Well, after seeing what we could on Adam's homes, what did you guys think? Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll catch you all in another video. Bye.